Hello everyone, welcome to the video. If you go on to enjoy this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video with all your friends. Alright, let's get into it. Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing a creative map that I made a uh, long time ago when creative first came out with some of my friends. Um, that was a great time to call me. Anyways, um, this map was made a long time ago and kind of forgotten about until I recently started working on it more with one of my friends, uh, balls. So anyways, um, let's go into our game. It is, it's called the Sock Squad Death Run, created by Pat Awaden. So, to start out, we have a, uh, we have a level skip, <clears throat> if you're bad, right? And this is, uh, this map will trick you and may make you rage. So, uh, I guess this is gonna be me revealing all the secrets of about the map, so that's fine. So, over here, you would think that these bouncers do anything, they, they don't. Wait a minute, can you jump onto the, can you jump? onto the okay anyways um to start out what you got to do is you got to just stay on this one line right here and make your first jump ggs second jump third jump you have to jump right here once you hit it and then fourth jump you have to jump again right here once you hit it now you would think that you would go there but when you go there you get debated instead what you do is once you get on this jump, you jump down here to this secret little spot. Now, read the sign. Uh, that's unfortunate. I didn't get to read the sign. I'm just gonna kill myself real quick before I show you any secrets. Um, choose a path. Any of the four paths, two of the way out, two are not. All of the checkpoints are invisible. Wrong path, surprise. Here's the first path. Oh, this is pretty nice. I think this is the right. Oh, it's very tough. That map on the right, you can slow down the video to see what it says. Um, it's nothing important though. And then you're like, oh, I've seen this before. It's just behind the spike trap, right? So all you have to do is, all you have to do is, all you have to do is, all you have to, yeah, yeah. And then you're like, oh, so it's just back here, but it's not, it's not back there. So anyways, then you're like, hmm. Okay, well, we might as well go for the easy ones down here. This one's pretty easy, you don't have to move. A lot of people move, and it really screws up the vibe because you don't have to move on this level. Except at this point, you have to tug forward, but it's not really an issue. Then we got easy, huh? Remember what I said about how there's two paths and that two were correct and two weren't? Well, there's actually six paths. That's not true, that's just to throw you off. And then, well, the two paths are correct, that one wasn't. This one wasn't. And then it says bon voyage. And then, <coughs> uh, and then we go over here, and we're like, oh, this must be the right way, right? And then you're like, missing something, and then you turn, oh, that's, uh, 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 so, that's, that's basically what it is. And so we're going to go back, and then we're going to get on the bouncer to the left, and then we're going to be like, okay, uh, but, and then we're going to be like, we go up here, and then, no, we're not going to talk about this, uh, and then we're going to go up here, and then here and we're like oh I know what to do I can't I'm not gonna fall for that trick and then there's a spike trap and you're like did I get you with that one and then you go through and you're de de you're dead okay all right there's that one and then you're like well there's only one path left right it's obviously no I'm just joking it's obviously up here this one door right so you go back here that's the level skip by the way that's the exit from the level skip and you're like, okay, and then you go up here, and then make, the key is to make the jump. So that's mainly the issue a lot of people make. But, hey, I got you again. I'm going to do this a lot. This is the right way. And then you're like, oh, this is spooky. Can I go around and get to different angles to do it? Apparently you can, because that's a flaw on the map. Because you're supposed to go, oof, and then you get stuck into the pipe, for spike trap. <coughs> Sorry. I, um... There's nothing on the other side of here. Anyways, uh, and then you jump down, and then what you gotta do is a lot of people lean forward, 
and you die okay but what you have to do is when you jump down you go bada bing and then you go up and go straight and see this traps already baited so what you do at that point is then you you don't do that okay what you do at that point is then you go down the middle and you once the spike traps are baited you go forward but you go forward and at an angle watch you go down here boom and then you go and then you go see see so we missed that trap and so it's fine anyways i wonder how many times you walk in yeah that's uh irrelevant anyways you miss these three you get debated all right and then this is a pretty cool level you take the rift to go go all the way up there there you go and then whoa all right and then this is the trap baiting level this is the this is actually the easiest level i don't know how i just messed up on that <clears throat> all right and so what you do here is you go and boom, bang. You you, you get the point, okay? Uh, what you do? Okay, so you go and you just you just bop all the traps, okay? Okay, so basically you you get the you get the plan. And now, so you go all the way and then you go. Boom, bam, bop, bada, bing, bop, pow, and then you go, and then th you have, th there's a ramp up here, right? And you're like, oh, well, obviously I'm going to go to the baller. And then it's like, nope, you don't get to, um, because that's not actually the right way. Um, and I also just realized that I'm going to have to do the level again, because that took about three minutes. You know, you know the vibes, you can do it fine until you start recording, and then, uh, and then you, uh, mess up so anyways what you gotta do is you gotta go here and then and then uh see this isn't what you're supposed to do it's not advised you do this so that that was, you, just ignore ignore that hack right there and you're like oh okay it must be the bar but it's not the bar as we already displayed it's a secret door that you didn't see and so you go through down here you go down here and then next you go and then you realize there's a spike trap there see i totally knew that was the thing um i was expecting that well, anyways uh, what you have to do is there's a spike trap on the ceiling, so you have to go in, bait it, right? And then there's a level skip, which is, like, it qualifies as a second level, but, um, I like an alternative to this level. But I'm just gonna give you a guide through this level, since the level skip's really easy. Um, what you have to do is you have to aim just, like, on that little right there, where my little dot is, just above the frame of the door to go through. Anyways, this is one of the hardest levels it used to be until I figured out how to do it. Basically, in summary, here's level five. You go and you jump down. Yeah, uh, you're not supposed to jump there, okay? Um, this is a very good guide of how to do the map. Jump down, right? And then you deploy the balloon right as you bait those traps. So now we're going through, bait every trap, right? And then you're gonna need two balloons for this part. We go ahead and bait that trap, and then we run, 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 and then go. That that's just that's just aimbot. Anyways, again, what you do is you go, and then you bait it, right? And then you run, 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 and go. Yeah. Oh my goodness, dude. I can do it fine until I start recording. See, my high score is like four minutes thirty seconds on this. And then we go. Boom. Are Are you out of your mind? Okay. So I can usually do this fine. I don't get what the issue is here. I can usually do this level first. Oh no. Okay. So anyways, that's how you do that. Okay. It, 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 yeah. All right. And then now, th that's where the level skip comes out. Shh, there's a trap behind the door. So when the people come out, they think they're done with the level, but they're actually not. All right. And then the spike trap hits them. And then, but if they bait it, then they get that. The level skip is really easy. So. Yep, and then here's level six. This is a ice level because every death run needs one of these. What you do here is you go, 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 crouch under there, and then you're supposed it's the secret. You're not actually supposed to jump in the pit, which is a shocker, I know. You're supposed to actually run, 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 run. Yeah, uh, see, no, what you're actually supposed to do is you're supposed to get the chiller trap, right? You're so I'm just trying to like like commentate this while I do it, which is why I'm doing 
very poorly. See, if you're cheap, right, like me, you just go through and then you go and then you, and then you go and then you, and then, what, uh, that, uh, okay, uh, so, p uh, what you do here, right, is you just run, run, run right in the middle of those two, those two little speed pads. It's very easy. You just have to go right in the middle of the two speed pads. And then once you get up here, you're gonna go ahead and jump in the lava to get rid of your speed boost. I don't know why the checkpoint doesn't do that. Anyways, this is level 7. This is the lava level. Here you go. Here's a very big, um, useful overview of the level. Basically, what you do on this level is you go and take all the obstacles. Watch out for the chairs that have the weirdest hitboxes. Sit right there. See? What you have to do is you have to aim for the middle of the back of the chair. Like the thing you put your back on. Like the rest whatever it's called, right? And you have to aim for the middle of the back because it's the highest point up. See, I did not make, I landed on the seat there. You have to land on the middle of the back, which doesn't make really much sense in real life. But this usually takes me one to five tries to do. See, it's fine now. See, we're goaded. We're good. I'm very nervous right now. I'm gonna mess this up. See, very simple. This is, it takes so long to, for everyone to do it. Anyways, there's a very simple overview. All right, uh, and then, so here's the next level. You go and then you're confused. Whoa, there's bouncers. What, why are there bouncers on the ground? And then you're confused and then, oh, you're dead. Okay, so basically what you have to do, right? And you don't know what you gotta do is, oh, so I added these little cubes on the side. They're very, very pretty. What you gotta do is you gotta look at the map. See, it says map, but there's no map in the top top right up here. You just have to look up, look up there, get it up there, um, and and think about it. See, what you'd think is that it'd be talking about your brain or about the map, but it's really not. It's just using like up there. See, get it? I'm a funny guy. Okay, so um, and then what you do is you jump down, you dodge the really cool volcano art that I made. Very very cool. And then you go, oh, it's blue here. Oh, it's blue here too. That means there's a bounce pad. Oh, it's blue here as well. Uh, see, I think that's a design flaw. Oh, I get it. It wasn't a design flaw. I just got too ahead of myself. What you gotta do is you gotta land in between the spike traps right here. Jump. Jump. Or you can skip it and just go to there, right? And then and then they were here. A very cool artwork on the side. I forgot I had this. Right, and then here's the final jumps. Right, these are very simple, very easy. You just have to jump when you make it. Jump here. It's You don't have to jump there, but it's good if you do. So anyways, that's the end of the course. Absolutely amazing. Jetpacks, boogie bomb. This GG room was entirely made by Vol Disney Dad as he uh, graffitied on my sign after I finished it. Thanks for playing, it means so much to me. Made by Pat Waden and other helpers, blah, blah, blah. We're not gonna read the rest of the sign. And then it says, oh, wait. And then it says, GG, good game. And so, and then there's this poster here that says sub to Tico, cause I made this a year ago before uh, I had a YouTube channel. So, um, anyways, and then there's a riff. Can you guess what this rip goes to? No, you can't. It's a uh, lonely lot. No, I'm just joking. It's a, a little cabin that is an overview of the entire map. How it was made. Very, very nice. And then we got um, we got the robot doing the whip. And then we got the fish tank. Get it? Because it's a tank made of fish. See, this is what my friends worked on while I was actually trying to build the map back like two years ago in 2018. Whoa, that makes a sparkly when I throw it. No, nah, no. Nah. Yo, that's cool. Pew, pew. Okay, sorry. Um, and then that's the map. So guys, basically, basically the ordeal. If you want this to be a published map, let's get to a thousand subscribers so we can make this map public. Yeah. So anyways. A thousand, a thousand subscribers and I can get a creator code and make this to where anyone can play my death run. 
It's a very, very lit death run. Very cool. Um, so, this took a lot of time to make. So, anyways, um, there's my death run. Um, we got the Durger slippers. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's the map. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in to the end. This video took a lot of time and effort to make. So if you did enjoy, it would mean the world if you could like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in to the end of the video. And as always, have a blessed day. I'll see you in the next one.